Hello and welcome, this is Greg French. Today we're going to be using SolidWorks uh, to create the box for Lesson 2. First thing we need to do is come up here, select New File. A uh, new SolidWorks document comes up. We're going to select Part. Click OK. SolidWorks opens up here. We're going to come over here to our Command Manager, select Sketch. And then we're going to select Rectangle. will be our first uh, thing we're going to do. Select the front plane. I'm going to come up here for my orientation, make that front plane come up straight. Come up to my or my origin here. Uh, hold my mouse button down. Come out and start a rectangle. I'm going to select one of the sides here for the dimension. Whoops. I want to do that. Come over here to Smart Dimension. Select the side here. Bring that down. Put a value in here of 100. Now you notice it's set for inches, so I don't want inches. Go ahead and select OK for that. Come up to select your, to put this back to millimeters and look up to tools. Come down to options. Come up to document properties. I'm going to select under document properties. I'm going to select units. And then I'm going to select the uh, for millimeters, this MMGS, going from the inches back to millimeters. Select OK. Now I'll select that uh, side again, that dimension. Comes up, I'm going to put 100 in here. Select OK. I need to dimension the other side here. This is going to be uh, 60. Select OK. Zoom to fit. I'll zoom that back out a little bit more so I can see it. There's my uh, rectangle. Now I'm going to extrude this. So I'm going to exit my sketch, open up my features, and I'm going to select the extruded, and we're going to be extruding the base. Uh, we see that this opens up to, to an extruded base. And we're going to select depth over here of 50. And we'll select OK, and you'll watch that open up here. Now we have our box that's 100 by 60 high and 50 deep. Now we're going to go back to our, or click OK on this, so it's extruded, it's finished. Now we're going to go up to our fillet feature, and we're going to select the edges of these corners here. And it defaults to 10, 10 millimeters, so we can leave that. Now I'll go ahead and uh, allow that to fill it. And notice all the edges now are rounded. Now we're going to shell it. So we're going to come up here and select our shell feature. Come down here and select the top. Uh, we're going to select for our wall thickness, 5 millimeters. And we're going to go ahead and say OK and let this shell out. And it shells. So you can see we have our box now uh, shelled out with a wall thickness of 5. Now we need to punch some holes in either end. So I'm going to go ahead and give us a better view of that, a side view here. And we're going to go to our sketch and select a circle. And put our circle right about here. Drag out our, our mouse. There's a circle. I need to dimension this, smart dimension. Select just the circumference, move this out, double click, it needs to be 10. And we have a diameter now set of 10. Now I need to dimension this again uh, from this edge here to the center. Coming out, this should be. 40. So type in 40, press OK. Our other dimension is going to be from this outside edge back to the center and bring that down. And this should be 25. And press OK. Now we have our 
box with the uh, two circles or with a circle drawn on the end. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, exit my sketch, open up my features. This is going to be an extruded cut that we're going to place in this. This extruded cut is going to go all the way through. So we're going to so from take the direction, uh, direction one here and click all the way through and go OK. Now we should have a hole that is completely through both sides. Let's see if we tilt this up, you can see on the back side and the front side we have our hole. So we've completed our box. And uh, that completes the box, the creation of the box for lesson two. Thank you very much.